In this video, we'll be going over how to create a 3D mesh using the vMesh Python module in Blender. We'll go over how to get references to individual faces, edges, and verts, and get a list of what is currently selected. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and hop on into Blender and open the scripting workspace. Hit new right here and start writing our script. First things first, we need to create an object that will be hosting our mesh data. And to do that, I first need to import BPY and then define a name for our mesh. I'll just create a new variable called object name and uh, put some kind of text into that that will represent my object. Next, let's create the mesh data that we'll be working with. I'll be using the BPY data meshes and then new method right here and providing the name of that data. So I'm gonna be using the object name and I'll also add the underscore data just to dif differentiate them in the outliner. And I'll get a reference to all that data that I just created right here. Next, I need to create the object itself and I'm using the objects in the new method and providing the name for my object and using this mesh data that we've created just above here, getting a reference to that new object we've created in the mesh object. At this point, the object is created and the data is created as well. We need to add this object into the scene collection so we can see it in the outliner. And I'm gonna access the context, the scene collection, and link our object into the objects of this current scene collection. Now, let's go ahead and delete everything from the scene, hitting AX and then delete. Uh, go ahead and run the script. And you can see that nothing really appeared in our scene, uh, but if you look into the outliner, you can see that we have the my shape object and underneath you can see that my shape data that we just created. Okay, I've added some comments to make sure that we remember what each line does. And now with that out of the way, we can start working with the mesh Python module. I'm gonna go ahead and import at the top of our script. And with that imported, we can start working on creating our mesh. For the example shape, I'll be showing you how to create a basic pyramid. Now you can create any shape you like, but I'll just I'll be sticking to a simple one like a pyramid. Before we start adding verts into our mesh, we need to add some code before and after that part. First, we need to create the mesh object itself, and I'm going to be using the bmesh new method right here. And right here, we'll be adding the verts and faces for our mesh. I'll skip this for now and continue on to the next part where we're updating the mesh data. And the thing that we need to do is we need to apply to the mesh data that we created a right. Here, then we want to update this mesh data so it can be so it will be updated in the 3D report. This is an optional thing, but I like to add it here so we can see our results straight away. And at the end, I'm just going to free the B mesh data. Now, let me update the script with some comments. Okay, now with the comments written, we can go ahead and remove our object from the scene and then go ahead and rerun our script. And you can see nothing really happened, but there are no errors, so that's good as well. Now let's start defining our geometry. And the very first thing that we wanna do is just add one single vert. And I'll go ahead and add this right here. And I'm using the bmesh object and executing the new method right here, passing in the coordinates for the vert I wanna add. And I'll get a reference right away as I create this vert. Let's go ahead and delete everything from our scene and rerun our script. I'm gonna go ahead and get a closer look right here. And if you zoom in, uh, right here, probably you won't really see it on the video, but if you're following along at home, you'll see this in the 3D viewport. There is a single point right here. Let me actually go into edit mode, and maybe that's a bit better, but there's a point right here, and that is the vert that we just added. All right, we've added a single vert, but, but of course that is not enough to create a whole shape. So I'll add all the verts for the bottom part of our pyramid. Okay, so here's the code. I renamed the variable, uh, the first variable to vert one, and then I just copied uh, the next three variables updated the coordinates to make sure that they're going to be they're going to be in the right place so they can form the base for our pyramid and let me go ahead and delete everything from the scene run the script take a closer look and again probably not easy to see but here are the four words we just added and now we can start looking into adding a face let's do that and creating a face is relatively straightforward as creating a single vert now we're just creating a face using the references to the four verts that we've created above. And this, we're passing in a list of those, and that is it. Let's go ahead and remove that previous object from the scene, run our script. Now you can see that we have our base for our pyramid. Okay, let me go ahead and improve this code uh, just a bit. And the very first thing that I wanna do is I wanna move all these coordinates into a list and then iterate over that list with a for loop and just have one single line that will be creating uh, a new vert. 
So let me go ahead and define that list. And here's the list. I've just went and copied over all the coordinates for our verts. I've added another one, which is the vert that's at the top of our pyramid. And the other ones are just basically copies of what we have here. So with that, I can go ahead and delete this. And now let me create that for loop that I was talking about. Here's the for loop, just looping over that list we just created, having this for variable represent each one of these coordinates. And then I'm running this command in the, in the for loop, pretty straightforward. What do we do with this line? Since we don't have a reference to each one of these verts, because we're creating them right here, we need to access each vert from the BM verts list. Now, let me go ahead and update this line right here to correctly reference the verts that we want. Okay, and here is the update. You can see that I'm just using these square brackets to reference verts that we've added right here. And notice that the index starts with zero. All the indices that usually you have in Python will always start with zero. So that's first, the second, the third, and the fourth vert that we've defined right here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the scene. And this script won't actually work because we're missing one line. I'm gonna go ahead and run the script anyway to show you that error. And you can see that Blender is telling us that we can't use this index square brackets notation. We need to ensure the lookup table. We need to run the ensure lookup table function first. Let's go ahead and do what Blender is asking us to do. And this line is what was missing. And we can go ahead and run the script. And now you can see that our script is working as it was before. So if you want to access verts, faces, or edges, you need to make sure to run this ensure lookup table for verts, edges, or faces. Okay, so the next thing that we want to improve is this line right here. Of course, we're going to be defining more than one face in our mesh. And this line will be repeated multiple times as we did when we were creating the verts. So let's go ahead and define a list of vert indices that we can use to define a given face. And here's the list. I'm using the indices that we used right here. And now I need to create the for loop that's gonna define each face. And the first for loop is gonna loop over this list. And the thing that we need to pass into the new function for creating faces is actually the reference to the vert and not just the index. So at this point, the vert indices is gonna contain just a number, but we need a reference to a vert. So we need to loop over this internal tuple right here and get a reference to each one of those verts. And that's gonna look like this. We're creating a new list. We're looping over the contents of this right here so on the very first iteration this will contain zero and then one and then two right and we're just going to use that index right here to get a reference to each word and then add it to this list and then use that list right here when we're creating a new face let's go ahead and remove this line right here and now we've created a way to define faces just by updating this list right here let's go ahead and remove everything from the scene run our script and you can see that our script still runs. I wanna take a moment and introduce you to a Python feature that you might not know about or maybe not feel comfortable using, and it's called list comprehension. Now, this list comprehension will allow me to write this right here, so get a list of those verts, of the references to the verts, in a single line, and I can even put it right in here and not even have to write all this code right there. Let me update this code. And here is that line. Let's let's go over step by step. The very first thing that you can see that we're using the square brackets. So we're defining a list, right? So this is telling Blender that we're gonna be filling out a list. Next, we're gonna skip this. Uh, we'll return to this in a second. We're gonna loop over all the vert indices, right? The same thing that we're doing here. This is exactly the same line right here. And then so each index will go into here. So this is exactly this right here and and that's it you can kind of think of it reading it a bit backwards it's like this is the for loop here and whatever is happening right here is the body of the for loop it'll get some time getting used to it don't worry if this is too advanced if you don't like this particular line i highly recommend just using this if that feels a lot more comfortable for you but i just wanted to make sure that you know that there's another way to write this i'm going to be using this single line for now so i'll just remove this code and i'll remove object rerun our script and you can see that still works even with that single line. Let's continue defining our faces. I'm gonna go ahead and start updating this list. And here is that, and here's another face. I'm again, just using the indices of the verts to, to define a single face. Let's go ahead and remove everything from the scene, run this, and you can see that we have a face right here. But I made a mistake here and I wanted to show you so you can also watch out for this. Let's go ahead and go into the overlays and then select the face orientation. Now you can see that this face, the bottom face of our pyramid is facing the right way. So the blue is facing us. So this is the inside of the pyramid. 
but you can see that this face right here, it's red and it should be actually facing inside. So, like for example, if we add cube, you can see that all the faces are blue. Now I need to update the order in which we add those vertices. So it's very important. It's not a random choice. So make sure when you're doing this by hand that you turn on this overlay and face orientation so you can make sure you didn't make any mistakes. And I've updated that face and let's delete that, run the script. And now you can see that our face is in the correct orientation. Let me go ahead and update the rest of the faces. And that's the updated look. Let's go ahead and remove everything, run the script. And now you can see we have this pyramid with the faces in the oriented in the correct way and if you're learning something new and enjoying this tutorial make sure to hit the like button i'll greatly appreciate it with that out of the way i want to quickly show you how to, you can create basic shapes with a single line now i'm going to remove all this code right here and i want to create an icosphere and vmesh actually has a special operator just for that and here it is it's beam under vmesh ops create icosphere by the way you can see all the options that you can create by using the interactive python console importing vmesh and then running vmesh ops read and then pressing tab to get all the available options. Okay, with this line right here, I'll delete everything from the scene, run the script, and you can see right away with that single line without writing any of those definitions of the faces or verts, we have a basic shape. All right, and for the final part of this video, I wanna show you how you can get all these selected verts in our mesh. And if you stick around, I'll also show you a slightly more advanced version of the list comprehension. And I'm going to be using the mesh in the edit modes. I need to update the creation of the vMesh object, and I need to do the from edit mesh, pass in the mesh data, and that's pretty much it. Now let's get a list of the selected verts. And here is the code. We're creating an empty list right here. Next, we're looping again over all the verts and we're accessing the select. So this is like if the vert is selected or not. And we're creating this if statement. If the vert is selected, we're gonna end to our list of selected verts. And now let's go ahead and print out the result. And here's that code. We're just doing the print, looping over one of the verts that's selected and printing out their index. Let's go ahead and go into edit mode, select verts, and go ahead and run our script. And here is the result. You can see that we've printed out some of the verts that are selected, and it's pretty straightforward to do that logic. Now, let's update this code and make it use list comprehension. We're defining a new list with the square brackets. We're iterating over all the verts in our vMesh, and there's an extra spin here where we need to add an if statement. So we need to add some kind of filtering, and this is what is happening right here. And if this is true, we will, act, we'll, we will put the vert into the list. So this is like the filtering part. Now, let me go ahead and remove this code run the script and you can see that we got the same result. We've covered a lot of ground in this video, but we haven't covered where the vertex colors are stored or the UV data. And I'll be going over that and more in this video right here. So make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.